Chris right. and Claire are here from uh, the University of Ottawa uh, Quidditch. Uh, uh, is it a club? What is team. it, Claire? It's a team? Yes. And uh, you, how long have you guys been doing this? We have, uh, we started about January of 2011, but we only really started our competitive team in September of this year, so. Yeah. And you're not alone, there's lots of teams out there. This yeah, is, there's a sure. big, uh, big um, movement towards well, it. It's really big in the U.S., but even in Canada alone, there's uh, quite a few teams. McGill has a team, uh, Carleton is another team in the city that has one, and even U of T, Ryerson, and McMaster have picked up teams in the last year as well. I assume it all came from the Harry Potter. Um, it did, yes. Yeah. So it's based on the game from Harry Potter. Although the sport and sort of the culture surrounding the sport has really taken on um, its own level now. Not all people who play Quidditch are necessarily fans of Harry Potter, although Thank it does all. make its way in there. It's true. Well, I mean, it, it kind of legitimizes the whole thing, right? Yes, right. yes of course. Uh, what, what, what is the object of, of this game? Well, it's, it's uh, quite a bit different from any other sport because you've got a series of balls in play. Unlike most sports, you usually only have one focus. Right. Uh, so you've got the chasers with the quaffle, which is a volleyball, right. trying to score through the hoops and the keepers defending them. Um, in addition, you've got the beaters who are using bludgers, not iron cannonballs like in the books, right. um, to defend them and take uh, players out of the game. Right. Uh, what, so, what about the guy in the yellow? Who's he? That's a good question. That's the snitch. Um, and it adds a really interesting element to the game because it's actually a person. It sort of has that same personality as the snitch does in the books. And uh, why are they chasing him? They're trying to catch that uh, the snitch, which is hanging off his back. And it's very difficult because this guy is probably one of the only players who has no real rules in the sport. He can do whatever he wants. Pretty much. Yeah, you're not allowed to tackle the snitch, but the snitch can definitely tackle you. And you can't tackle him. No, nope. no. Nope, you have to. How do you get the ball from him? Uh, the thing, the snitch in the back there. You have it's, to try and do what she's doing. And there's only one person allowed to get the snitch at once? Uh, one, there's one player from each team both trying to get it. Right. And what then, happens when you get it, Chris? That's the end of the game. And the an game's over? An additional 30 points as well. You each, get, uh, what, 10 points for what? 10 points are for the uh, chaser uh, for the, for the chaser points, and then uh, the snitch catch is an extra 30. Wow. So this this young lady is trying to catch the snitch. Right. Number 17 there. And it's not easy. Our snitch has uh, jumped in the cars and uh, driven away and uh, climbed up trees. <laughs> exactly. So now you guys practice with uh, your friends over at Carlton, right? Yep, we do. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, joint practices every week. They sort of taught us how to play when we were starting up the team. Oh, did so they? we have quite a friendly camaraderie with them. Yeah. I could have got the snitch right there. You could have. I could have <laughs> taken the snitch. I should have done it. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, that is a good point. He said you weren't on a broom. That oh, is you a have requirement. To be on a broom. Yeah, and actually, if you do come off your broom, you have to come back to your post to get back in the game. So actually, or if uh, someone hits. Oh! oh! <laughs> what happened there? Leanne scored one. She did. Leanne and Jeff aren't doing a bad job out there. No. Uh, so let's see how Jeff. So does. they've got their brooms, and what is Jeff trying to do? Jeff is trying to put it through the hoops. Oh! And, oh, oh! Very close there. So. He's trying to put the ball through the hoop. Are people trying to stop him? Yeah, so the keeper right here, number 41, is trying to get in his way. And the beaters are playing defense. Oh. So, see, she's going to try and hit him. And he's, he did block it with the volleyball pass it to Leanne, but oh Leanne couldn't capitalize there. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. Does it take long to figure out the game? Uh, really, it's, it's really difficult to explain, but once you start watching it, after a couple of minutes, you really start to get how it's going. Yeah. There's a lot of sort of intricate rules and intricate strategies that can take a while to learn, but yeah. the basics uh, doesn't, doesn't take too long. Claire, how big is the field? Like, this obviously is not a regulation size Quidditch field. Yeah, this is this is a mini field. Yeah. So, um, I'm not, sure what the actual, I'm not sure what the actual measurements are. Right, but, but is it like a football field? Um, probably about half that, a third About half the size. Yeah. Uh, you're about playing on a half of, just over half of the soccer field. <laughs> it would be a lot of fun if you could actually fly. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, um, right? If these yes. bloom, the brooms actually worked. Oh, somebody got the snitch. Yes, oh, so the game's over. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. So the game could last anywhere for, how long does it last? Oh, well, I've seen games last uh, almost an hour, if not more. Right. Or? Or a couple of days. Really? No. Well, could. Or if someone is really yeah. sneaky, it could be over in a few minutes. We, right, oh, for sure. We had an overtime game where the snitch was caught in the first 30 seconds of overtime. Yeah. So it, it can end pretty quickly. Until now, the snitch is back on the do field. people come watch? I think there were 10,000 spectators at the World Cup, so it's... Um, the what? Ten, the World Cup. There's a Quidditch World Cup every there is. year. Uh, with teams from all across, mostly from North America, but we had teams from Europe as well. A World Cup? Yes, a World Cup. Uh, That's fantastic. When can people watch games here? 
Um, so we have joint practices with Carlton every week that are sort of open for anyone come, to come see our scrimmages. But we right. do have a tournament this coming Saturday in Strathcona Park yeah, no, at perfect. about 12.30. Really? Um, with ourselves and Carlton. We've got a team awesome. visiting from the States as well. And oh, cool. The Rochester yeah. Institute of Technology. And everybody's welcome oh, to come out. Oh, the Rochester yeah. Institute. The Ritz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard they're dangerous on the Quidditch pitch. Oh, yeah. Is it a pitch? Is it a field? What is uh, it? Pitch, a pitch. Is, pitch, pitch is good. good. Yeah. yeah, it sounds right. Doesn't it? How's your broom, uh, Leanne? Comfortable. Yeah, yeah, it's got a nice uh, lightning bolt on it. You must be yes, one of the well, faster ones. Yes, I had to go this way because it, if it goes the other way, yeah. they, hey. I, oh, <laughs> wonderful, good shot. I, like I believe uh, Leanne may be the first and only Quidditch player to uh, participate in the game wearing high heels. <laughs> yeah, that is quite possible. We have to double check on that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it'd be a, like a record setter. Well, that's a lot of fun, you guys. I'm glad you're enjoying it, you know? It is a lot of fun. It's a great way, for, especially for students who are, you know, inside the library a lot. It's a good way to sort of stay active and be outside as well. And sure is physical activity. Yeah, right. they can get quite physical. It's a full contact sport. Yeah. One of the only there have been some possible visits from the team, but uh, not all the time. Yeah. So. We got it done, but thanks for coming by and tell us all about this. Well, thanks for having good us. Good luck. Yeah, no problem. You might want to recruit Langer in her high heels. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> She'd be a good addition. We're headed back to the home and garden show. <laughs> Come on,